waste is a huge concern in America. According to Feeding America, each year 119 billion pounds of food is wasted in the United States. That equates to 130 billion meals and more than 408 billion dollars in food thrown away each year. Shockingly, nearly 40% of all of America's food is wasted. Let's talk about some quick and easy ways to keep foods fresh longer. This is a way to create the environment in which we prioritize fuel for the future. The future of our own health and the future generations to come. Here are some ways that we can save money on the foods we buy and help save the planet. When we're buying produce to keep in our kitchen or in our fridges, there can be a lot of factors we think about. And but one of the first things we look at is how ripe it is. And how ripe it is will determine how long you can store it, where you can keep it, and uh, how you can use it, how fast you can use it. So when we're going to decide if something is ripe or unripe and we want to decide how quickly we want to eat it, we can look for a few things in our produce. First and foremost, you want to look at color. So if you're looking at an orange like this, you can see it's a little lighter in color. Um, it's a little more firm, right? So how does it feel? And you can see that it's having no uh, browning spots or any sort of mold or anything on there versus a more ripe fruit, you're going to see maybe some browning, a little bit of darker color. Uh, you might see a little more spots and it's softer. That's the main things we're looking for with ripeness. So a really good example of a way to think about the ripeness and how that could affect your preparator is to look and see if, if there is a very ripe fruit, you might want to use it quicker than later. Um, maybe you might go and buy something like a orange or a fruit and it's super ripe and then you want to buy a few that are not so ripe so that you can use some of them immediately. You really want to dig right into the oranges, go right ahead and eat those ripe ones and then save the ones that are not so ripe for later, for example. If refrigeration is not available, you can store some fruits and vegetables at room temperature. Some really good examples would be our root vegetables like potatoes and turnips, or you could even do fruits like apples and pears at room temperature. So it's really important to keep foods from going spoiled or becoming unsafe to eat. So use it within the time listed or freeze it right away. The timelines listed uh, in this chart or others like it that you can find online will tell you how to store it and where to store it. And they're really, really helpful to make sure we're avoiding food waste. When we're buying greens, we really want to look for no mold on there, especially since greens are high in water content. And we want to be looking for crisp greens, ones with a nice snap to it when you're trying to take off the leaf. Um, it's really, really important that they're crisp and again, avoid from mold, uh, devoid of mold. And if damp when it's purchased, which a lot of them are, especially if they're in a display, we want to make sure we are patting it dry before refrigerating or freezing. Buying fruits and vegetables in bulk is a great way to save money, especially when it's in season. To reduce food waste, here are some ways you can properly store your extra goodies. Step 1. Rinse produce and pat dry. Step 2. Preparation. For fruits, remove any stems, seeds, and pits. Slice into desired size pieces. For vegetables, remove stems and seeds. Slice into desired size pieces. Step three, blanching slows down the loss of flavor, color, texture, and nutrients during the freezing process. For fruits, you do not have to blanch the fruits beforehand. For vegetables, blanch for two to three minutes in boiling hot water. Use a slotted spoon, transfer boiled vegetables to a bowl of ice water, drain and pat dry. Step four, Place produce in a single layer on a baking sheet and freeze. Step five, transfer frozen produce to a large freezer safe bag or airtight container. Step six, date and label the content and store in the freezer until ready to use. Most produce maintains its quality when it's frozen up to six months for fruits and 12 months for vegetables. We hope these tips were very helpful in making your food last longer and in turn, reducing food waste overall. We hope these tips help you prioritize your fuel for the future.